Hi, happy Monday. Welcome back to another Monday Motivation. I'm Shiva here, the trainer and motivational speaker on a mission to reach out to a million people. Today is a special day. Today is the festival of Warnam. And that reminds me of the great Emperor Bali, who is believed to visit the planet Earth every year on this day. What a time we are all going through now. If only we could learn about this great king and pick up just one quality of him that could be a savior for the human race at this point in time. What is that quality? Let me take you through this story very quickly. Emperor Bali was one of the greatest kings ever. His rule was characterized by peace, prosperity, truth and righteousness. He was a great warrior too. He expanded his empire to all the worlds, conquering even the heaven and the nether worlds, the Patala. In the process, King Indra lost his kingdom, the heaven, and he approached Lord Vishnu and requested him to help him get his kingdom back. Then Vishnu took pity on King Indra and took the avatar of the Vamana, a little boy, the dwarf, and approached Bali. Seeing the Vamana, Bali offered him to choose what he wanted. Vamana promptly and immediately requested for the land enough that he could cover it with three bases. And Bali, thinking that it was the, one of the easiest things to do, immediately granted it. And then his Guru Sukracharya, who was next to him, suspected something wrong with this kind of wish tried persuading Bali to retract from delivering the promise. He also reminded, he also told Bali who actually the Vamana was. However, Bali did not agree to break his word. In fact, he said, what great punyas I might have done. That Lord Vishnu himself came to me asking for my help and that I got an opportunity to give him what he wanted and I will not lose this chance of giving God what he wants even if I have to lose my entire kingdom then you know Vamana grew in size so much that he could cover entire heaven and the universe with just one pace and the nether world the Patala with the second pace and asked Bali where is the place for the third pace then saying nothing except his own head. Bali showed him his head to keep the Vamana his third base. And Vishnu, who is actually in the form of Vamana, placed his third step on the head of Bali and pushed him into the Patara. What is the one thing that we could learn from Bali? Righteousness. What is righteousness? Bali gave his word and kept it. Even after knowing the difficulty involved in doing it, we could make this world a better place to live and a safer place to sustain for some time to come by learning that one thing from Bali and that is learning to be more righteous in whatever we do. You know Lord Vishnu blessed Bali for his righteousness with moksha, with moksha, entry into the heaven and also another boon that he could rule the entire universe for one day, every year. And that is the time he visits the earth, the place he ruled and the people whom he loved so much. And the God would say to all of us, if we learn to live our life also in a righteous manner. And the key word that I want to leave you with this week is righteousness. Thank you once again for watching this video. Happy Vonam to you and your family. May this Vonam enrich you and your family with health and happiness. If you enjoyed this Monday Motivation, please like it and share the video with your friends and contacts. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please, please subscribe to it and enjoy the Saturday stories, Monday Motivations and unstoppable updates that I regularly post on my channel. Thank you. See you again next Monday. Till then, take good care of yourself. Stay safe and stay healthy. You are awesome.